Today I'll be unboxing and assembling this acrylic enclosure for the A1 Mini. Uh, it's put out by Top Cube. I've had a few enclosures from them in the past and they said try this one out. So we're going to open it up, put it together, and see how much we like it. It does come with a very nice instruction piece of paper here to tell you how to put it together. I will say pay attention to the numbers of bags. While they're, they are numbered, they aren't exactly in a numerical order. So please pay attention to the instructions. Now here are all the pieces, really nicely packaged and organized. And there are our acrylic plates that are going to go all over this nice enclosure. It comes with six, two for the front door, and then four for the other sides. Here are all the baggies with all the pieces. Like I said, these aren't specifically in order, so make sure you're grabbing the right pieces from the right bag. All right, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is put these corner brackets in. And like I said, you want to make sure to pay attention to the instructions. You want bag number seven. It comes with these screws right here. And you just screw them in. You need two for each piece. And you just screw these in with the included tool here. And screw them until they're nice and tight. And the two pieces don't move away from each other. Very nice. Now that we've got one of those installed, we're going to add another one and make a full piece. And then we're going to do that twice. So now we've got two of these constructed pieces with the uh, corners. We're going to slide another one of these in there and attach those two together. Very nice. That's going to give us this nice U-shaped frame. We're going to pull the plastic off of these acrylic and add our first panel here. The first one we're adding doesn't have any cuts into it, so it's completely blank and we're just gonna slide that into the U-shaped frame. Now, this was a little tricky for me at first, uh, just to figure out how to line everything up here, but uh, there are guides for it if you find them, and it actually does slide in pretty easily once you figure it out. You don't wanna start low like this, you wanna start all the way at the top. Uh, it helps a lot if you sit up the frame, so that's what I eventually do here and then just slide it in from the top and that works pretty good <laughs> forgive me it, i mean i'm having a little trouble with it i will figure this out but yeah uh, this enclosure is pretty cool uh, it's really nice and sturdy once you get it together there we go we're going to set it up and then slide it in from the top perfect good job all right now that we've got that acrylic piece in there we're going to add the fourth side to this square and uh, just like we did the other ones, we're going to slide that in here and then uh, tighten in the screws that hold it in place. Yeah, this is a little tricky, but again, if you slide it in just right, uh, everything should fit together very nicely. And it's looking good. Yeah. So we're going to screw those screws in there. And now we've got a finished bottom or back panel. Now we're going to add... Um, the sides the four corners here again we're just going to add some of these railings and add two screws to them to hold them together that's going to give us a kind of box shaped frame here it's looking pretty good it's coming together all right now we're going to grab i believe this is the right side it's the one with the most intricate cuts in it and uh, you want to make sure you put these in correctly you have them oriented right uh, going by the pictures and then over here, we've got the left side we're going to add. Now, like I said, when you put these in, you want to make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. I put this one in incorrectly. You want these two dots to be going uh, horizontal, and I've got them vertically. So there's two little dots on that panel. You want to make sure that those are going horizontally. Now we're going to add the back panel. Very nice. Make sure it slides into those grooves. And we've pretty much got it put together so far. Now we just need to build the top, just like we built the bottom. We're going to make ourselves a nice square. And uh, side by side by side, we're going to put those together. A symbol, an L, and then a U, and then a square. Just like we did before. It's a lot of repeating the same steps to put this together. Really, it's just a lot of corner brackets. But once you get the hang of it, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. And again, we're just going to slide these two into our U-shaped frame here and add more screws to hold all those pieces together so we get a nice square. There we go. And, yep, there's our square. And these are the door frame hinges. 
Uh, they have kind of self-locking screws, so you're just going to wedge them into the corners like this. And then grab the proper screws for them and uh, screw those in to hold them into place. Just like that. And uh, you'll add four of those to all four corners so that you can uh, put the door on there. So we added the door to the entire frame here. We've got a real nice looking cube. Let's add the screws to hold all this together. There we go. Just to show you guys how I did it, I did pull out an electric screwdriver just to make it a little easier. But yeah, just tighten those in. <laughs> Here's another look at me screwing some screws in. But yeah, uh, it's coming along. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking enclosure now that we've got most of it put together. Now, uh, like I said, you want these two holes to be horizontal. So now we're going to add the filament guide right here and the spool holder as well as the TPU channel here. And then this is where your wires go through. It's a little silicone thing. It pops right in there. Then this goes into the door. There's a little hole for it. Um, I had it upside down, but we flipped it over and that just screws in there nicely. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, these are the door handles we're gonna put on. Uh, these are kind of tricky. They use two different screws and they have like a magnet. So you wanna use the round screw and then the flat head screw for the magnet. Then we're gonna add door hinges to the door at the top of both of the doors. We've added the handle to the left side door here. And then we're gonna add the hinge up at the top right there, yep. And then we're gonna slide those into the enclosure right here, just like this. Not the easiest thing to film. Now that we've got the top one in there, we're going to install the bottom one. So you're going to um, push that hinge in there and add those two screws and do the same thing on the other side for the other door panel. And then they will open. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, step number five or bag number five, this is like a magnetic thing that clips onto the doors. And we're gonna add that right here. Very nice. So now when we close the doors, they clip magnetically. Makes a really satisfying sound. Very nice. Now this holds a LED light strip. And for this installation, I recommend flipping the enclosure upside down and adding it right there, just like that. And there's our enclosure. Uh, it's looking really good. Yeah, the doors are nice and magnetic. It's nice and clear. You can see straight through it. And we're gonna put our printer in here. There's my A1 Mini in the enclosure now. And now we've got to do some TPU tube set up here, but uh, it does include eight different TPU tubes to go from your AMS to the enclosure and then back to the printer. Those are my old ones. Now we've got uh, four on the inside here and then four on the outside leading to the AMS. Uh, really, really nice. I think it looks uh, pretty dang good. Uh, yeah, so we got the enclosure built. That wasn't too difficult and it looks great. Yeah, looks good, looks good. All right, so you can also put a spool on the inside here if you just wanna print with one color. So there's a little spool holder right there, which is nice. Now let's take this down to my workshop and actually put it where I wanna put it. Let's go. Clear it off of space right here and boom. <laughs> there's our printer. We've got everything set up looking good. And yeah, I think this enclosure is really nice. Uh, the other top cube enclosure I got, you can only see uh, through two walls of it and they're kind of plasticky. This is crystal clear. I can see the whole printer through this. And we've got it up and printing. Uh, very nice enclosure from top cube. I like it a lot.